welcome back i'm pratap here today is uh, 23rd may 2024 in this video let us uh, find the stocks near demand and supply zones for all the time frames we will also identify daily and 75 minutes high liquidity demand and supply zones at the end of the report we will also identify stop buffers based on daily atr even before that a small announcement please uh, if this is your first visit to our channel please understand we are providing complete free training on supply demand zone price action all the training lessons are available at our neo stock youtube channel so at our channel click on this community tab you will get access to this space and in this space you have a link youtube playlist link that will take you to the training lessons just click on this link i am clicking on the link now we get into the playlist supply demand zone price action course in this playlist you have all the training videos just scroll down to the bottom of this page here starting from lesson 1.1 all training lessons are available in an order please go through all these lessons one by one and strengthen your skills related to supply demand zone price action i have also provided the link to our telegram channel in this youtube video description so from this YouTube video description, join the Telegram channel. It will be helpful to you. Each time when we release a new YouTube video, we'll provide an update and also any other important updates also will provide at the Telegram channel. Now let's get into the report generation. So at present, uh, there are no stocks near uh, yearly and half yearly time frame. And uh, let's start with quarterly time frame. Let us find the stocks near quarterly demand zone. So only one stock is available. I'll be giving you only a few seconds time to watch this report and then move on to the next report. So please, if, if any of these stocks you want to re refer, please pause the video. In case if you do not understand how to read this report, I request you complete our training lesson 21.1. In that video, I explained each and every column, their parameters, abbreviations, their values in detail. Also, I explained how to draw zone in the trading view by taking the timestamps from leg in column, base column, and a leg out column. Okay, I'm going back. For quarterly time frame, let us find the stocks near quarterly supply zone. Six stocks are filtered near to the quarterly supply zone. I'm going back. Changing the time frame to monthly, let us find the stocks near monthly demand zone. Four stocks are filtered. I am going back. For monthly time frame, let us find the stocks near monthly supply zone. Again, four stocks are filtered. Let me go back and change the time frame to weekly. And let us find the stocks near weekly demand zone. Six stocks are filtered. So I'm going back. For weekly time frame, let us find the stocks near weekly supply zone. 11 stocks are filtered. Let me go back. Changing the time frame to daily. Entry time frame is daily. Let us find the stocks near daily demand zone. 6 stocks are filtered. Let us identify high liquidity demand zones if any from this list. We don't have any high liquidity de daily demand zones from this list. So I'm going back for daily time frame. Let us find the stocks near daily supply zone. Six stocks are filtered. Let us look for uh, high liquidity supply zones. No, we don't have any high liquidity supply zones from this list. I am going back, changing the time frame to 125 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 125 minutes demand zone. These five stocks are filtered. I am going back. For 125 minutes time frame, let us find the stocks near 125 minutes supply zone. So these nine stocks are filtered. I am going back and changing the time frame to 75 minutes. 
entry time frame is 75 minutes let us find the stocks near 75 minutes demand zone so two stocks are filtered and there are no high liquidity demand zones from 75 minutes time frame okay let me go back for 75 minutes time frame let us find the stocks near 75 minutes supply zone any high liquidity ya yeah, cholamandalam finance is there this is the only one high liquidity supply zone we identified today but this zone is already tested three times and eight rejections from this zone so if you can find any fine tuned fresh fine tuned 5 minute zone then only you can plan a trade otherwise the zone will be violated because the list is very small look into dit trades you may find some trades in the bullish trade setup Okay, I am going back, changing the time frame to 25 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 25 minutes demand zone. So eight stocks are filtered. Let me go back for 25 minutes time frame. Let us find the stocks near 25 minutes supply zone. Two stocks are filtered. I am going back, changing the time frame to 15 minutes. let us find the stocks near 15 minutes demand zone six stocks are filtered i am going back for 15 minutes time frame let us find the stocks near 15 minutes supply zone two stocks are filtered let me go back and change the time frame to 5 minutes let us find the stocks near 5 minutes demand zone eight stocks are filtered let me go back for 5 minutes time frame let us find the stocks near 5 minutes supply zone five stocks are filtered so the, these are the stocks near demand and supply zones in the last report let us generate the stop buffers based on daily atr so these are the this is the daily atr and remaining all uh, four columns you know when you you can use them right so the 16 uh, first 17 are indices sectorial indices remaining all are equity stocks but th we have taken them from f and o category what i do i keep on scrolling this list down by giving you 5 seconds time i mean uh, few seconds time each scroll down if any of the stock you want to refer just uh, pause the video so i am scrolling this list down so this is the end of the report hope this information will be useful to you for our further study and analysis let us all meet again in our next video thank you